To feed the growing world population, is it necessary that consumers switch to a more plant-based diet? However, consumers like meat and dairy products very much. To help them switching to a more plant-based diet, we have developed a new technology for the next generation meat analogs. The technology we've worked on for several years now is called shear cell technology. And now it is time to bring this technology to the public. And we will do that in collaboration with eight companies that cover the full food production chain. A machine manufacturer, a flavor house, ingredient producers, and companies that will really make the final product. And they know exactly what the consumer wants. So how does the process work? It starts with blending plant-based proteins with water. And to that mixture, flavors or colorants can be added. That mixture is then transferred to our so-called Quetta device. After adding the material to the device, the material will be heated and the shearing will start by rotating the inner cylinder. After 15 to 20 minutes, we will stop the process and cool the product. Then the material is released from the device. The fibers become very evident when bending the material. The question now is, why does this technology make a difference? We think that this technology allows the formation of larger pieces of meat analog with pronounced fiber structures. And we can control the fibrousness of the material with the technology. Besides, the technology we use is very elegant. It's relatively simple and it is mild. So it makes optimally use of the potential of the raw materials and eventually the device will be relatively cheap. It allows a cost-effective production of the next generation meat analog. We are very excited about this project. It not only enables us to bring this technology to the market, it also gives the possibility to do some more fundamental academic research. We have many questions there. For example, how to flavor the product? What's the interaction between flavor molecules and the proteins? How is water bound in the product? How can we increase juiciness? The meat analog market is really growing at the moment. Consumers consume those products more and more. But they also have new wishes. They want to have more attractive products, other structures. And this project will provide the scientific basis and the technology to allow innovation in future.